All right, what's happening, y'all? your boy Rico from Street Scores, and it's time to update some power rankings. You will actually be pretty surprised at how high everybody has us. The lowest is 17th. So we got to take a look at where we rank for everybody. We're going to look at ESPN, everybody, the score, NFL Network, CBS, NBC, everywhere I can find a power ranking, I'm including it. Even if it's not the most legitimate power ranking and the most trustworthy source, we're still going to talk about where we're ranked for everybody, again, that I can find everywhere on the internet. And, and, and man, I'm really excited, man. Even after this tie against the Giants, we rose on some people's boards and we may have gone down a couple of spots for some. But again, for the most part, we generally stay somewhere where we already were. And again, the lowest we are is 17th. Stay tuned to find out how high we rank. Where is the highest we are on any one of these power rankings and man it, it, we've come a long way remember the beginning of this season we came in way lower than we felt like we should have been and then after starting one and four we plummeted to like in the 30s i mean we were 32nd in some of them that's why i stopped doing the videos i was like don't nobody want to watch 20 minutes of me talk bad about our team because of course with us with doing going through these power rankings and everything i'm also going to read some of the descriptions and explanations for why we have some of these ranks that we have so it, earlier when we were in the 30s at the low 20s well the high 20s um number wise it was just no point in me doing these videos because all they were doing was just getting on how how bad we were and ignoring a lot of the problems that we saw as fans like we are better than how we're playing we're better than what our power rankings say we are and a lot of people were kind of ignoring those things and now it's coming to light you see how well we've played now they played even better the last stretch of this season than i expected the second half of the season well really the middle of the season but i saw that we were not a one in four team i mean a lot of us already knew that but that's neither here nor there right now the current times the present and hopefully the future is that we are rising on these boards but before we dive into all of that make sure you subscribe to the channel at the bell next to the subscription button so you get a notification immediately and every time i release an informative and opinionated video just like this one make sure you pull up every commander's game day for my live play-by-play -play analysis and live stream all of that type of stuff of course it's a bye week this weekend so i may live stream at some point on sunday just kind of chop it up for like an hour with everybody i'm gonna probably have red zone up from the nfl sunday ticket watching all of the games going on and we can just talk about whatever we can talk about commanders we can talk about what's currently going on we can talk about college football playoffs with my georgia bulldogs going against ohio state we can talk about anything so it's probably just one of them random live streams we'll talk about whatever anime gaming anything i want to talk about we can pull up talk about music any songs that's come out recently any albums all of that so make sure y'all stay tuned for that and without further ado let's get it All right, we're going to start at the dead bottom and we're going to work our way all the way up to the top and we're going to see where we rank the highest by towards the end of this video. So the lowest again was 17th. Everywhere that I could find, the lowest rank I could find was 17th. Not even Walter Football has us lower than 17th, which is amazing because he usually doesn't like us. There's usually a few news articles or organizations or NFL analysts that just do not rock with us no matter how good we look. But even Walter Football and a lot of these other guys are even admitting at the very worst we're 17th in the nfl so right around average at worst sports illustrated has us ranked 17th they said in contrast to the patriots facing a sudden plummet the commanders may have to prepare for a vote up the rankings god bless them they're turning the nfc playoff picture into absolute chaos and now have an almost 70 percent chance of reaching the playoffs according to 538 a phenomenal scheduling quirk allows them to get the giants again coming off of a bye while the latter has to go through philadelphia increasing the odds that washington can legitimately contend for the sixth or seventh seed in the nfc you also have the lines that said Taylor Heineke created some magic to force overtime and an eventual tie against the Giants. The Commanders 7-5-1 head into a late bye week slightly with a 6-1-1 record over the last eight games and they're close to overtaking the Giants for a wild card berth. And they also had us ranked 17th last week along with Sports Illustrated. Now that's already done. We're moving on to 16. That's all of the seven teams there were. So 16th, you have that franchise guy on YouTube. He has us ranked 16th like I already said. You also have PowerRankingsGuru.com ranked 16th and to them we have a 56 percent chance of making the playoffs which is 
crazy because according to their power rankings, they have the Jets, who they have as a 32% chance of making the playoffs above us, the Packers, who have a 5% chance, the Browns, who have a 4% chance, and then the Patriots at 11, who have a 24% chance. So we have one of the lowest power rankings out of anybody that has at least a 50% chance of making the playoffs. We may have the lowest out of all of the 50% chances, so they don't rock with us us and the giants and then also nbcsports.com josh schrock a bears insider also has us ranked 16th as well and then moving on to the 15th and there's a few of these so you know get ready you have clutch points they said a tie against one of their foes for the postseason certainty is better than a loss so the Washington Commanders will take it. Taylor Heineke led this offense again and had a pretty decent game. And his connection with Terry McLaurin, eight catches, 105 yards, one touchdown was on display early and often. Hopefully a sign for things to come. Then you have Yahoo Sports. They said Chase Young is being brought along very slowly by Washington off his torn ACL. The Commanders defensive line is playing well, so the Commanders don't need the rush. But it would be nice to see Young back on the field, resuming a career that has a lot of promise. Then you have USA Today. Davis said they've been surprisingly competitive in a stacked NFC East, even if it feels like they're definitely no better than a one and done playoff outfit. And then you have Walter Football. He said Washington's defense has suddenly become awesome while the running game has improved. The Redskins also have some talented receivers. They would be a legitimate Super Bowl contender if they had stronger quarterback play. I've been saying this. I don't know why some people act like that's not true. But Taylor Heineke continues to loft miserable floaters that are begging to be intercepted. Sadly, this is still better than what Washington was getting out of Carson Wentz. Completely agree with everything that was just said there. Literally, if we you put healthy Justin Fields on this roster with Super Bowl contenders, it's arguably top five team in the NFL. It's literally that simple. But then at the same time, you look at the roster and what we currently have at quarterback, Taylor Heineke is probably your best option as of right now. But we got to figure something out. Maybe Sam Howell develops and he's ready to start next year. But I completely agree with Walter Football that we're literally just not even a great quarterback. You don't even have to be a top five. Just be a top 15 guy. We're a Super Bowl contender because the defense and the run game is insane right now. And then going back to Walter Football, he said, I think this is the third week in a row I've had this analysis for the Redskins, but it still holds true. Heineke gift wrapped the Giants their only points after halftime with a lost fumble in the strip sack. Now, that one wasn't his fault. That, that Walter Football has been a little too harsh on him for that. And then Walter Football continued to say, and he was almost intercepted on another one of his ugly floaters. And I mean, that's a good point right there. That was almost intercepted on the sideline. And then you have the ringer. They said Sunday's tie with the Giants was ugly, but the commanders still control their own destiny in the NFC wildcard race. Quarterback Taylor Heineke has brought life to an offense that ranked 28th in points per game before he took over as the starter. And the defense remains one of the league's best. Washington will play the Giants for the second time in three weeks when they host them on Sunday night football after the week 14 bye. 538 gives the commanders a better than 85% chance to make the postseason if they can handle business at home in the rematch with the New York Giants. So we're not automatically in the playoffs if we beat the Giants in two weeks, but we're like very good and, and, and definitely in the driver's seat. And all we got to do is handle business against the 49ers, Browns, and the Cowboys. Then there's a lot of 14th overall power rankings across the internet and all media outlets. First up, you have Bleacher Report, and they, they have a pretty long explanation. They said the Washington Commanders are one of the hottest teams in the NFL. And while their unbeaten streak hit four games, their winning streak ended at three. If that's confusing, it's because ties do that. As a matter of fact, Commanders head coach Ron Rivera told reporters that even he wasn't sure how to address the team. He said, quote, we came up here and expected to win. We didn't. We tied. It doesn't hurt us. It doesn't help us because those are the guys we are competing with right now, unquote. I like the fact that Ron Rivera has that focus on the Giants. You got to beat them, if anybody, out of this remaining schedule. Bleacher Report went on to say there was good. Quarterback Taylor Heineke threw for 275 yards and two touchdowns, and wide receiver Terry McLaurin caught eight passes for 105 yards and a score. And there was bad. Washington finished a miserable 3 of 14 on third down, and it failed to put New York away despite outgaining it by 95 yards. The Commanders have just one loss in their last eight games, but Seattle's win Sunday knocked them out of a playoff spot. When they take on the Giants again in two weeks, it will be little margin for error. Then you have ArrowheadPride.com. 
of course, their Kansas City Chiefs reporters. They have us ranked 14th as well, saying tying an NFL game and improving your standing in this rankings is a travesty. We went up in their rankings, though. We used to be 17th because they just placed other teams below us. We really stayed stagnant generally, but according to the rankings, some teams deserve to get placed lower, so we rose because of that. And then the last 14th, you have Pro Football Network. Miller says Taylor Heineke is not a good quarterback, but he is a magical one. He almost did it against Tampa Bay in the playoffs a few years ago, and he almost managed against the Giants on Sunday. His fourth and four throw to Curtis Samuel defied physics, especially for a QB with his limitations. I agree. That was one of his best throws ever. And it's just like, if you can do that difficult throw and make that look so easy, why do you make the easy stuff look so hard? I just don't understand it. But Miller continues to say, and that's the rub with Heineke. His moments of brilliance cloud us from the fact that he's a mediocre QB. However, if Washington's defense continues to play well and the offense can avoid turnovers, the commanders should make the playoffs in the NFC. And then 13, you have number fire. Last week we were 15 for them. You also have the 33rd team. Demowich says, good news. The defense will get a massive boost after the bye with the return of defensive end Chase Young. So they're making it sound definitive that he's coming back. Then they also said bad news. Even though Washington has lost just once in Taylor Heineke seven starts, it's still been a struggle for the offense to score points. They've scored more than 23 points just once since week two. That is really bad. That's actually like very, very bad. Then you also have fan sided. They also have us ranked 13th as well. Had us ranked 14th last week. They said Ron Rivera's club took a three game win streak into his first meeting of the season with the rival Giants. And things look good early on for the commanders as the club took a 10 to 0 first quarter lead down 20 to 13 late in the fourth quarter quarterback taylor heineke came up with some heroics as he put together an eight play 90 yard drive that accumulated that culminated with a 28 yard touchdown pass to rookie Jahan dotson but neither team scored in overtime then you have nfl.com hansa says taylor heineke isn't as naturally talented or consistent as you might want your starting quarterback to be but then he hits a throw like we saw on sunday with the game hanging in the balance at meadowlands and you're reminded why the quarterback has endeared himself to so many commanders fans and players heineke's clutch fourth down conversion to curtis samuel set up a game tying touchdown pass to Jahan dotson and even a scoreless overtime period couldn't shake the feeling that the commanders aren't going away in the nfc playoff race up next a long awaited bye week before a pivotal rematch with the giants at fedex field in two weeks then you have the athletic they said make the playoffs 45.5 percent win the super bowl two percent hey i'll take that it was nearly zero percent for both of those just a few weeks ago they said make sure chase young still exists it has been a frustratingly long await for chase young's return for a washington defense that nevertheless ranks 10th in dvoa but it could use his pass rush juice which could have made the difference in sunday's stifle tie i agree i feel like we're probably a chase young away or even just a non montez sweat concussion injury away from winning that game they continue to say now the commanders kiss their wounds over the bizarrely timed bye before a rematch with the giants that feels like someone in charge of the schedule simply wasn't paying attention that's funny and then the last 13th overall power ranking you have espn and that's just ranked from espn total but then john com comes in and gives his assessment of the team and then he said we're number one in time of possession the commanders lead the nfl by averaging 32 minutes 59 seconds time of possession each week which is crazy they've been good in this area all season but it's been pronounced but it's been pronounced in the last eight weeks when they've gone six one and one in part by keeping the ball for an average of 33.48 their renewed commitment to the run game has helped a lot they average 89 yards and 3.87 yards per carry in the first five games and then it's 146.6 yards per game and 4.1 yards per carry in the last eight huge difference finally the result has been the defense playing five fewer plays per game since week five keeping them fresh that's huge great points by john Connell, all of that those are excellent points then moving on to our 12th rank new york post dunlevy had us rank 12 had us rank 11th the week before so we went down for him but only one spot and then you also have pro football talk that said 70 minutes against the giants a week off and at least 60 more minutes against the giants after that that's all they had to say <laughs> and then a lot of people have us ranked 11th overall i mean when bet has us ranked 11 said washington almost went the entire second half without scoring prior to a game tying touchdown inside the two minute warning the commanders will see the giants again in week 15 after a week 14 bye you also have fox sports you have odd shark you have sports not sporting news nfl spin zone cbs sports CBS Sports said the tie against the Giants can help them when it comes to the playoffs. They head into their bye week 
losing just once in the last eight games. Sports Not said the Washington Commanders keep finding ways not to lose games. Call it the Taylor Heineke effect. In truth, a majority of the credit belongs to the Commanders' excellent defense and emerging receiving trio of Terry McLaurin, Curtis Samuel, and Jahan Dotson. I agree. And before we move on to the next ranking placement, NFL Spin Zone said, as if the NFC East wasn't already crowded enough, the New York Giants and Washington Commanders went ahead and tied in Week 13. The Commanders are now sitting at 7-5-1, which is the worst record in that division which is now the best in the league since the Patriots lost on Thursday. Washington started out one and four but things turned around when they put Taylor Heineke in that quarterback. They had three wins in a row before this one. While a tie isn't ideal they still haven't lost since November 6th when the Vikings beat them 20 to 17 when Taylor Heineke literally just threw that game away. It would be interesting to see what they could have been if they had never added Wentz but at least they're in line to make a run at the playoffs still. They would have been in much better shape with a win here, but at least they didn't lose, right? And then you have 10th overall in power rankings. You have AS.com. They said they always say a tie is like kissing your sister. As unpleasant as that sounds, the commanders will take a tie in New York. I, I still don't get that. I don't know what Cornelius Lucas or this article was talking about as far as that goes. They said Taylor Heineke continues his impressive resurgence of this Washington side, who have only lost one game in the last seven with former quarterback Old Dominion Q be under center and then also Athlon Sports said the momentum this group has built up recently wasn't fully stopped against the Giants but that tie did leave more than a few members of the team puzzled when the clock hit zeros and then lastly our highest and final rank that we're going to discuss today the score has us ranked ninth in the NFL they said the commanders will likely turn to Nick Martin at center in the final stretch of the year after center Tyler Larson suffered a potential season ending injury it's a second chance for Martin who who struggled in two starts early this campaign and that's a big worry of mine so i'm definitely glad that the score touched on that because nick martin starting the center for us scares me i mean maybe wes schweitzer can go ahead and move the center and we could put samuel cosme at right guard and cordelius lucas at right tackle maybe that's our best situation because nick martin the center definitely scares me but man shouts out to the score for having us at the highest rank out of everybody across the internet and all media outlets shouts out to them man appreciate the love and again the lowest we are anywhere is 17th which isn't bad but yeah man that's the end of this video please get in the comment section let me know how you feel about everything discussed in this video of course let me know if you want me to continue doing power rankings especially after wins especially after this giants win in two weeks so definitely let me know that and of course man i appreciate all the support man shout out to all of my sponsors especially my pro bowl sponsors name you see scrolls on the screen right now please leave a like on this video if you liked it if you learned anything and of course i will catch y'all later i'm out